zoomed in a little bit too much but that's fine hello it's been a while since i've sat down most of my videos recently have been pre-recorded because i've been so fucking busy um but today is our march favorites yay um and i don't actually have that much this month like what i do have was kind of consistent throughout march um, and thank God for that because me and editing is going to be very grateful, so. Not as stereotyped. We are bold, we are thinking, we are human. You change the face of television, not just for millions of people, but for people. We're going to get right into it. Um, first of all, books. Um, I'm going to go with this first because I only have one favourite from this month. And that is Happy Ever After Playlist by... I think it's Abby Jimenez. I want to say that's her name. This was such a cute little romance that I loved. It was not too cliche, but it was simultaneously perfectly cliche and just very sweet um, and realistic as well, which is not a common attribute in romantic books these days. Um, and also, so it's obviously called the Happy Ever After playlist and it's basically like each chapter is like shown by a song, like the theme of the chapter and let me just tell you, she has a great music taste. Some of my favourite songs were on that playlist I was like, mmm, scrum yum yum purr purr. <laughs> Next, movies. Again, very short one this month. Um, I've watched like 15 movies, which really is not a lot. I know more than that, but it's really just not a lot. And um, they were all shit. So there are two documentaries, The Hatchet Wielding Hitchhiker and Won't You Be My Neighbor. Both were very crazy, like ones to watch, but no, the first one was very crazy to watch actually, but the second one made me cry. Very worth watching. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that's that. Next shows. Again, two shows that I've been like repeatedly watching, Abbott Elementary and Drag Race, still going on, love them, still watching them every week. But also I finally finished season four of You, which was very good and took a twist I didn't expect, so I'll give them that. And then with music, I have the entire album Stick Season by Noah Kahan, the entire album Emails I Can't Send by Sabrina Carpenter, and You Can Let Go by Half Moon Run. I am also listening to a lot of old music, like like older, I'm going through like back from like 80s to 50s, like that era, I'm like back in that era a little bit right now. Um, and also a lot of foreign music as well, which again, I'm going back into that music era for me. Um, it's a very big playlist at the moment, my daily playlist. It's like 67 songs long, it's crazy. Um, and there are a bunch of songs on there, like little songs I do love, but at the moment these are the ones most on repeat. I know I'm late to listen to all the albums I listed, but they're so good. <laughs> they're so good, they're so good. I was like, why didn't I listen to this earlier? I love both these artists. That's just me being busy. Busy, busy bee. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's the media for my month. I guess like my favorite, I achieved a lot this month. Um, I got an internship, a job. Um, I went on my first date since leaving someone. Um, it's just been a crazy month, which has been very positive. And I also saw Half a Life live which is great, so that's fun. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go. This was very short, but I want my coffee and strawberry laces and to play Animal Crossing. So you're gonna have to forgive me. Also, mix up for the fact that my next video is an hour long. So I love you guys. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>